Hello, this is Jake, and today I'm actually heading to Rawdean to have a look at a location I spotted quite a while back. Um, basically, it's a mine or something, and I thought it'd be nice to take a drive over that. Um, yeah, not traffic today, don't know what that's all about. Maybe I've missed something. So please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, it's always great to have new subscribers and everything. Um, I Over Christmas, I uh, finally got the old decals off the side of the car. Now, if you know your baths, you know that they have, um, some of them have the uh, bath stripes along the side. Um, and they really do help with the car. I, I gotta say, they really do um, set the car off. But the ones on this car have become faded and ripped. Um, and it, they was like that when I, I bought the car. So I, I decided that I was gonna change them. Um, and I have. Uh, I done one side in one day. By the time I got the hang of it, I done the other side then. But they turned out really nice. So when we get to Vordine, I shall pull up and um, show you them. They really have out with the car's appearance and everything. And I always say with any car, doesn't matter what's under the hood, it's first impressions of when you see a car. Um, and that's that's pretty much what the bath does. So yeah, the stripes are out. I, I did stay with the red. I didn't want to get rid of the red because I do like the... Um, the original red stripes so I did try and keep to that um, I decided to I decided to sell my Abar 595 Capienzo or Competizione um, I finally decided to sell it and that means I can finally make a dream come true buy a car that I have wanted since 1998 and it's happening it's happening Okay, so I found it. Um, I'm here right now, and well, here it is. So I passed this place quite a while back now, um, and yeah, you can see the tunnel there. So it's an old mine, basically. Um, I'm not too sure when they stopped mining here. I mean, it's CCTV everywhere, so I'm not going to be stupid and going to have a look. But all around the Foster Dean, you will see places like this. And it really is really nice to see. I've got to take some photos, of course. But I promised you the above stripes are done. Now, the car's filthy. I'm very sorry. But here they are. <clears throat> yes, there we go. Like I said, the car's filthy. But there's the stripes. They're getting dirty as well. But they look great. And what made me want this was the Italian flag. And of course, these are on the other side as well. Um, I will give them clean when I get back. And also, I've just poured in on this dirt, and I have no idea if I'm going to get over here. Because look, 
right in front of me, but never mind, we'll, we'll get over here, I'm sure. Um, but there's the stripes, really nice. Um, so they were off eBay, I shall put a link in the description where you can buy yours. Uh, I believe they were $24.99, which, you know, it's not too bad at all. $24.99 for two new strokes for the car. It was easy enough to get the old ones off. Um, I'll fit some footage in now so you can see me getting the old decors off the above. But, you know, it was easy enough. It, it took me, I was down now all morning, taking the one side off, done that, put the new one on. Easy enough. I would recommend two people putting the uh, new decor on, just so you can get everything straight and everything. Um, it just makes it easier to line up. But they really suit the car. Um, I'm really pleased with them. There you go. And, of course, I'm listing this car in a couple of weeks for sale. So it will help, help hopefully, with the sale just a bit. Um, but, yeah, well worth the money. Um, I'm going to have a look at the... Excuse me, this mine. It's flooded, so I don't really want to walk over that. Um, but it's a stunning... Like I said, if you have in the Falsa Dean, there's bits like this all over. Um... And you can just see there. There you go, look. Um, and they still go down there. There's actually track there going up to top bit. Um, there's another not too far away from me. I'll have to show you as well. But brilliant, brilliant to see. Um, as long as people aren't stupid, you know, and go down them and everything, you should be fine. Um, and it's really nice to see stuff like this still around the Forrester Dean. Okay, so there we go. Now, I did just say about the mud. Let's see if I can get out of here without getting stuck and then I'll have to turn around somewhere up there and come back. So yeah, let's let's well, let's see. I might just roll back just a little bit. My dash is still playing up as well. Um, we got a new dash clock coming today or tomorrow. Get that fitted because that is really um, annoying. Nice and steady. How easy. So in my Citroen C2, about a year ago, um, I launch rockets all the time, model rockets, and the field I go to was really muddy, and I got the Citroen C2 stuck in a field, um, <laughs> which was stupid. It was my fault as well, um, and I won't be doing that anytime soon again. What I'll do, I'll pull over down here, and we shall end this video. Just a small video today. Um, like I said, I wanted to do an actual review of this car, but it was just raining horrible, so I couldn't do it. But yes, thank you all for watching. Please do like, please do subscribe. I know it's a small video today. I just wanted to get some news out there, what's happening with the new car and everything. Um, but yes, nice location there, nice little stop, and I shall see you all soon. Bye for now.